Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Irvin. I'm your course instructor for Sociology and Social Problems. I'd like to welcome you, tell you a little bit about the format of the course, uh, how to navigate the course, where you can find material, submit work, how the work is due, what you should pay attention to, be aware of. So right here, this is, I, I just clicked on this. I'm viewing this as you would as a student. You can ignore some of this stuff. Here's a syllabus for the class, okay? Uh, and it's going to tell you the book, okay? There's a new edition of the book. If you please don't buy the 12th edition, get the 13th edition because it's going to matter, okay? I'm going to be uh, engaging again throughout the week, okay? You can reach me through the general questions. You can be communicating with you through the discussions, responding to your discussion posts. Um, also, you can feel free to email me. You know, my email is embedded in the course. Okay, here's a link for general questions. I, the best way, though, is if you have a question, just email me directly, right? Let's take a look at assignment information. Okay, what I want you to do uh, is to take a look before you get started. Uh, you know, as we're early in the week, it, um, this is the, a discussion rubric, and I've know many people who it's been the difference between them getting an A and a B, right? Um, because they didn't follow correct requirements for the discussion. And you think, you might think that's picky. Well, I'm great. I can write a really, I can respond to the discussion prompt really meaningfully. But, you know, the fact is we are at an online institution and we need to create an online community. And you do that but you 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 have a well crafted initial post, and then you respond to two of your your your, your classmates. Okay, so um, basically, I, we like to see those initial posts by Thursday. Make it make it a substantial post based on the material, not your opinion. A discussion is not a place to you know. Uh, for you know where, where you just express your uh, your notions or thoughts about something it's based on what you've read okay and then you post it to your classmates okay so here's how you're graded okay um basically your your base your your discussion is graded on comprehension on engagement of your classmates and on writing and by writing you know please use a citation at the end of the initial post right okay and also uh just just you know don't respond to the prompt we're going to look at the we'll look at the prompt here in a minute here's a journal and, and th these are journals these are journal assignments okay so what does all this mean let's go and take a look at the at the kind of framework under the hood of this course okay in each of these modules and i want to start with module one because that's where we're, we're at this week Okay. Um, at the end of this module, you, you'll you'll analyze a social problem on a scale um, outside of your immediate surrounding community. That means you can write about um, the fentanyl epidemic in in your community, but you have to write about it in the, in the in the country and eventually in the world. Okay. Now, there's three sociological theories that you're going to have to know, right? Uh, and we're, we'll look at we'll look at these. You're going to find these embedded in the readings. Okay, here's here it is, right? Uh, under sociological theories. Okay, um, they're 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 thumbnails of so the sociological theories embedded right here in the course. Okay, here are the reading and resources. Okay, um, and in addition, we have some um, external resources too. It can tell you a lot um, about um, uh, world the World Health Organization around the world, how, how the U.S. compares, uh, and interestingly enough, the CIA World Factbook um, uh, provides data for topics as life expectancy, economic health, and infant mortality. Okay, um, there's also a great video on on functionalism, conflict theory, and symbolic interactionism. Okay, so um, and then and this is this is module one. Then when we get down here, 
<clears throat> basically um, personal troubles and public issues, you know, explain why something's a social issue. You know, during this initial post, you know, um, we, uh, you know, we'll explore some ideas. But let me, um, let's start by thinking very clearly about what a social problem is, okay? And, and how exactly we have to think about it, okay? Um, sometimes people try to write uh, about poverty or about racism as a social problem. These are not a social problem. They are a universe of social problems, literally. Um, I, when people try to write about racism, they go through every single thing. No, that's not clear thinking. Remember, W.E.B. Du Bois wrote 127 volumes on racism, and he wasn't done at the, by the end of his life, you know? So, <clears throat> um, a better topic would be oh, um, police and civilian interactions based on race or, um, or mental health in, in minority communities of color uh, or something like that. If you're looking at a social problem, narrow your focus, okay? Um, if you're looking at the fentanyl epidemic, you can look at your community, but then you got to look at the nation and you got to look at, you can really compare it. And when it's, there's an international aspect of this course where you'll be comparing, um, other, um, with other countries, you know, but so make sure they're similar countries to the United States, right? Like the UK or Canada or someplace like that. Okay. And then what I'll be doing in future announcements also uh, is, is outlining, um, you know, what we're going to be, where we're going to be going, what we did last time, and what we'll need to look at moving forward. Okay? I hope this is useful. Um, uh, you'll see these announcements pop up every, um, every week. Uh, you know, they'll be posted. And uh, um, I'm in the process now of redoing them to reflect uh, our reading, uh, our new reading for uh, and resources, you know, that's uh, commensurate with this new edition of the textbook. Why do you ask? Do social, do, so, do textbooks change? And, um, you know, I know that can be vexatious, but uh, society is moving. Uh, you know, I think when the earlier edition of the textbook was written, uh, the last one we didn't even have hadn't even had a pandemic yet, and that's caused a whole host of social problems. So I look forward to working with you this semester, and um, uh, look forward to reading your thoughts and your work, and working closely with you on uh, our work here together.